Hi everyone, it's Galen. I have a fun beach card today and I'm going to show you how to do pastel watercolor uh, using watercolor brushes and watercolor paper. I'm using the Unity Stamp Company kit called Summer Celebration. It's the kit of the month for June 2019 and I'm using the uh, um, the cute seaside scene along with a big word called celebrate. I love the big words they came out with. I'm using the mini misty for the stamping. I um, stamp onto the smooth side of watercolor paper. I have Versamark ink which is clear along with a powder tool and Ranger gold embossing powder. I'm also using clean color real brush markers by Zig. I'm using uh, a few of the pastel colors, the lighter shades, and I'm using watercolor paper by Ranger. I just selected a few of the colors and I'm, I'm using a water brush and I will blend out um, color using the water brush. I use a powder tool. I like to open the lid and just dab some powder on the paper and then put the lid back and just brush the powder onto the paper um, and stamp on it on the clear side, I mean on the uh, smooth side of the watercolor paper. The powder prevents heat embossing powder from st straying, uh, straying in different areas that you don't want it. It keeps it stuck to the, the right areas as much as possible. I heat set uh, the, the gold embossing powder that was stamped with the Versamark ink. I used gold. Now I'm coming in with some Zig markers and they're watercolor markers. So you just need to dab a little color and use a water brush or a paintbrush to blend out, to blend out um, color. <clears throat> I started with the sand color. Now I'm using a little bit of a brown on the basket and I'm coloring the pineapple with a little yellow and a little green just dabbing color lightly and the the water brush really does most of the blending if you want to remove color if you think it's too dark like I thought that this blue was a little too dark you just go back over it with the brush and remove it on a piece of paper or a towel. And I also dab it with um, a little baby wipe or a paper towel to get more off in certain areas that I want to be lighter. I did that with the towel and I did it with the flip flops. So I'll do it again with the sky. And you just uh, see it, it just lightens up the center and I wanted it to be lighter. Um, and doing just a few lines in the water and the water brush blending that out as well. Now I like the look of the sunset. Um, so I'm adding light blue at the top and blending out with a brush. And then I'm gonna add some yellow towards the bottom of the skyline. It could be sunrise, sunset. I just like the look of it. And I'm blending with the water brush, the yellow into the blue a little, just to meet it in the center. And I dab the sky lightly with a baby wipe. And my idea for this is to try to get a lighter color for these zig markers, because some they can be vibrant, more vibrant than I thought they'd be. So using more water and dabbing off color helps lighten it. And that's what I was going for with this. I just trimmed, uh, I trimmed the image panel and I am gonna have it popped up a little with foam tape. And I'll add a few adhesive gems in light blue just to accent with a little more sparkle. The card shines so much better in person. It's uh, the gold shimmers and the gems shimmer. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the video and I hope you follow 
me on social media and my YouTube. Thank you.